Hey y'all, it's Andrea. I done did it. I went and got the big kahuna munch pack, the family size. If y'all watch me unbox these, you know I freaking love this subscription. I started out for like a whole year getting their smallest one, which this is a snack subscription with snacks from all over the world. Not just one country at a time, but all, every box has many countries in it. It's my favorite international snack box, hands down. The smallest one, which I got for a year, is $16.95. I loved it so much, I thought, I'm going to go up to the next size. The next size is 10 items a month for $26.95. I've been getting that for a long time, and I loved it. Loved it so much, I bit the bullet and got the big kahuna, the family pack. It's 20 items. It's $46.95. And I also added the soda to it, which is an extra $6.50. I do have a discount for five bucks, guys. You can use it on any one of the subscriptions down below. Um, it'll get you five bucks off. All in, shipping tax and all, $53.45 is what this cost me with the soda and everything, I believe. All right, let's get into it. I might be able to taste test everything in this big kahuna box. I will test some. I am not an animal. Usually I test test everything when it's just the tin. We'll see, watch me eat everything in here in the video. Okay, here's my product guide. I'm so excited for this. My box features delicious snacks from Poland, Japan, Bulgaria, and more. It goes in color codes. This is what everything you get in the smaller box. The medium box is the yellow and the red, and the family is the yellow, red, and the green, and then my drink of the month. You can't add the drink to the mini, only the original and the family. First thing I'm seeing, I think I should go in order of what we get in the mini. I think that's how I like to do it. I'm going to start with what you would have got in the mini as well. Oh my gosh. Well, let's start with the drink. So I'll have something to drink when we're doing our taste test. This was the optional add on. It's um, definitely is lemon. I see lemons all over it. The rest is in a foreign language. Let's read about it. Lemon cream soda. A delightfully refreshing lemon flavor combined with a satisfying creamy and bubbly soda for the perfect beverage for all occasions. This is from Japan. I'm gonna go get me a glass of ice so we can try this. Okay. Got a neat little top on it. Lemon cream soda. Very interesting. It does, it is cream soda. I don't know if I can really taste the lemon part in it. Maybe a little bit. But yeah, it's definitely cream soda. I like cream soda. So, um, it's pretty good. I was expecting it to be real tart and citrusy and lemony, but it's not. It's first and foremost a cream soda. Maybe with a hint, a hint of a lemon flavor. tastes like key lime pie a little bit. Interesting. Let's sit over here so I don't mock it off while we're talking. Okay, let's start with what we got in the mini. It's a very good um, mix. The mini box is fabulous this month. 
uh, I haven't tasted anything yet, but just from looking at it, I'm super excited. First up, we've got Hooligan Pretzel Crush Cheese Sauce Pretzel Pieces. This is fondue cheese flavor. Mine doesn't say fondue. Mine doesn't say fondue cheese flavor on it. Theirs does in the picture though. This is from Bulgaria. This delicious snack features the classic flavor of sourdough pretzels dipped in cheese. Each bite is packed with crunchy, salty, and bold cheesy flavor. I gotta try it. I'm gonna end up trying everything. Who are we kidding? It smells kind of like sour cream and onion or something. Mm. It's okay. It's not really cheesy to me. It's more like just a salty pretzel piece. And I like Snyder's. When you get a Snyder's cheddar, I mean, they're drowned in cheddar cheese flavoring. This just has like a hint of it. It's mostly just a salty pretzel. It's good as far as that goes. It's okay. It won't be my, it won't be in the running for my favorite for the box. But it's not bad. Next we have Granuts Cranberry Trail Mix. This sounds like something that's American. Let's see. Nope. It's from Colombia. This satisfying trail mix snack contains salted peanuts, crunchy corn nuts, caramelized peanuts, soft cranberries, and almonds. That sounds delicious. Enjoy the combination of salty and sweet flavor with every bite. I want to try it. It's got all kinds of different things in there. It's a cranberry. And corn nut. What's this weird thing? Oh. That's a peanut. Almond. Mm-hmm. This is so good. That could possibly be in the running for a favorite. One bad thing about opening these and trying them all is I have open packages everywhere. But Munch Pack is the one snack box that I've gotten where almost all of it consistently gets eaten, either by me or the kids. It's, it's rare that there'll be one thing that none of us like. That's what I love about this box. Next up we have from Kinder Country. I'm gonna guess this is American. Nope, Poland. This box is getting in the way. Okay. Fantastically rich milk chocolate on the outside with a melt in your mouth, creamy white chocolate and crunchy puffed rice on the inside. That's the perfect blend of creamy and crunchy. That's interesting. This is a good thing I haven't eaten um, supper yet because I'm starving. Why am I going to eat every snack in here <laughs> or try every snack in here? Top, bottom, inside. That looks very interesting. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God, that's good. That's so good. Mmm. It kind of reminds me of a coffee flavor. 
that's phenomenal. That could be in the runner for one of my favorites. I guess it's really no big deal that it's all open stuff because it literally only lasts us a couple of days here and it gets eaten. Next up, Sour Power Straws and Pink Lemonade. Yes. This is from the Netherlands. These sour gummy straws are packed with the perfect amount of sour and sweet flavor. It's the refreshing taste of pink lemonade packed in gummy shaped, straw shaped candy. This will be one I'll probably give to the kids. It does taste like pink lemonade and the texture is nice and chewy like a sour jack, like a sour jack kids or whatever it's called. Not hard and rubbery. That's the texture I like. This soft and chewy. That's phenomenal. Lastly, in the mini box, we have five minute. It looks like a Snickers. Rich chocolate, it's got peanuts, caramel, and nougat. Moldovia? Isn't that the country in um, the Princess Diaries? <laughs> I'm, probably, I'm sure not. I think that was a made up country. I've never heard of this country though. Moldovia? This candy bar features creamy and rich chocolate outside with gooey caramel, crunchy peanuts, and fluffy nougat filling on the inside. Oh, there's a little blurb about Moldovia. Did you know the national animal is in Oroch, which is an extinct cattle species that is immortalized on the flag? Oh, that's sad and succinct. Oh, it's dark chocolate. I don't like that one. Hopefully one of the kids will. And that's everything that was in the mini. Overall, fantastic. My favorite thing out of the mini collection. <sighs> oh, that's hard. This is my favorite savory and this is my favorite sweet. I'm gonna do it that way. All right, what you would have gotten the original? Bamba peanut butter puffs. I'm not gonna open these. I have had some things very, very similar to these in the past. It's just like cheese puffs, but they're peanut buttery. They're good. Um, this is from Israel. This Israel treat features a crunchy texture and a flavorful peanut taste. They're soft yet crispy and savory yet sweet. Yeah, they're good. I can tell you that. What else we got? Kind of look over. Let me pull out what's in the original. It's gonna be a good one too. Okay, next up in the original, these Zozal Sea Life Animals. I think they're gummy candies. This is from Poland. Fruit flavored jelly gummies and adorable sea creature shapes. They're a colorful, sweet, and satisfying treat. Oh, I can almost guarantee 
I'm not going to dig these. It looks like it's going to be that hard, rubbery, gummy texture. Oh, it's not. Spoke too soon. Mmm. Those are really good. And it's real soft, as you saw. See? Tastes like blue raspberry. It's a texture of like um, those little jelly candies, jelly gummy candies that are fruit fruit shapes. Mm-hmm. That's good. Now I feel like I need to try these. They could be different than what I think. And how am I gonna pick a favorite? I gotta eat everything. I want peanut butter. Mm. Mm. God, those are good. They melt in your mouth. As soon as I bit into it, it like just melted away. Super fresh. Peanut butter snacks. Yum. Love both of the items so far. They're both in the running for favorites of the original. These look phenomenal. Zico's Choco Sticks with Caramel. This tasty snack consists of crunchy and salty pretzel sticks coated with deliciously chewy caramel and topped with a sweet milk chocolate glaze. This is from Moldovia again. What's not to like of this is what I like to know. It sounds like perfection. There's a bunch of them in this pack too. Y'all can see why I ordered the big pack now, right? I'm just gonna take a bite. I don't love it. It tastes a little weird to me. Um, I'm not crazy about it. Surprisingly, I'm shocked that I don't care for this. Tastes weird. Doesn't taste like milk chocolate. Okay, next. Dolcetto Tuscan Crisp Italian Cheese Blend. Thin and crunchy artisan baked Italian crisps that are full of the fine, authentic Italian flavors, including extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, and cheese. This is from Italy. They sound good. It smells like garlicky goodness. Oh no, I guess it's Parmesan I'm smelling. Mmm. Mm. My God, it's fantastic. It's like spaghetti that you've drenched in Parmesan. It's like a spaghetti drenched Parmesan in a crisp flavor. That's it makes me want to eat some spaghetti for supper. That's phenomenal. One last thing in the original, bonbons. Eiffel bonbons and watermelon flavor. This is from France. These green bite-sized candies from France are the ideal combination of firm yet chewy. They pack a fruity, sweet, and delicious watermelon flavor. These sound amazing. I don't see how I could not like these, but let's find out. I've been surprised in this box several times already. Mm hmm.
pretty good. I'm not sour, it's pretty sweet. It's a light watermelon taste. It's not overwhelming, it's not real strong. It's not my favorite in that category, but it is good. God, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. This is my favorite savory, and this is my favorite sweet. The peanut puffs are really good, though. That original box was a fantastic one, too. I would have been very happy with it. Let's, now the family pack has double what we just opened. Let's get into it. Buckle up, buttercup. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. Salt and seaweed is what I can read so far on this. This is from Taiwan. Norisho sticks. This savory snack features thin and crispy potato sticks that are seasoned with salt and nori seaweed. They're like potato fries in a bag. In general, I'm not a fan of seaweed. They smell good, actually. They look like they're really nicely spiced up. You can't see that. There's a little like black flecks in it. I guess that's the seaweed. Them. I actually like them. They just kind of taste um, salty. There's a little different taste in there. I'm guessing that's the seaweed that I'm picking up on. But it's very pleasant. You never know till you try it, guys. Next we have Piper's. Made by farmers, lie cross, cheddar, and onion crisp. Sour cream and onion, cheddar and onion, cheddar and onion. It's my favorite potato chips, an American. So let's see about this. Let me read about them. I'm sitting here opening them up, honey, lift them up. Oh, these are from the United Kingdom. They have awesome chips over there. These classic chips from the United Kingdom are crisp, crunchy, and full of flavor. The cheddar and onion flavor is simply satisfying and addicting. They look like Lay's. They're good. The onion is the main thing that's coming through on these though, not the cheddar. Mm. They're really yummy. They're really good. Oh my gosh. Phenomenal. Next. Some kind of hazelnut chewy candy. See the hazelnut in it? it? But it looks like a chewy candy. Caramel toffee and hazelnuts. Each individually wrapped toffee is a perfect amount of chew and nut. Enjoy the decadent flavor combination of caramel and hazelnut. This is from Serbia. Milk caramel candy with hazelnut. This is different. I've never had a candy like this before.
that's very different. The texture is totally not what I was expecting. It wasn't like our caramel here is stretchy and chewy and like sticky. This texture is more like those um, candy corns or those pumpkin candy corns. That texture just like crumbled in your mouth type of thing. The flavor is kind of a smoky nutty flavor it's okay i don't think i'll eat any more of these i'll offer these up as sacrifice to the children not my favorite but it's not bad but i don't want it next Prince Polo Milk Chocolate Confection. It's not a snack box until they put a wafer cookie in there somewhere. It's always wafer cookies. Uh, Prince Polo. Um, on the book it says hazelnut flavor. But mine doesn't. Oh, there is hazelnuts on it. Okay. This Polish sweet treat includes a delicate milk chocolate covered crispy wafer with four layers of creamy chocolate filling and a delicious hazelnut flavor. This is from Poland. Um, these are usually my least kind of favorite things. Just as a personal preference, I'm not crazy about, I'm not crazy about hazelnut and chocolate. very fresh it's got a really nice texture and the flavor is not bad at all that'll be one I'll pass on to the kids though we have a little cake with strawberry filling this is from Italy Two soft yellow sponge cake pieces with a delicately sweet strawberry cream filling. I feel like I have chocolate all on my teeth. Um, this treat will melt in your mouth. It sounds good. I'm worried it's smushed. No, not really. It's actually not smushed. That's good. Oh, then my eye keeps clouding over. It's very fresh. Again, it's very moist and tender. It's got a nice light strawberry flavor. Nice. Not in the contender is my favorite, but it is nice. It looks like cereal. It looks like chocolate cereal. Um, you know, like Cocoa Puffs. Uh, this is from Japan. Each melt in your mouth, light and flaky chocolate corn puff snack is shaped like a star. This sweet treat has a wonderful chocolate aroma. As a general rule, I'm usually not crazy about snacks from Japan. It does smell like chocolate. Tastes like chocolate cereal. It's 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 nice. If you like chocolate puffed cereal, not my favorite, but it is. It has a very nice flavor. Thanks. Nice. 
no idea what this is. Koala March Mango Cream. These adorable koala shaped cookies are light and crisp. They're crunchy on the outside and filled with a tasty mango cream on the inside. These are from Thailand. There's a little koala game in here. This little tab and stuff, it's cute. Oh, this is like wrapped up in this little bag in here. Oh, cute. Sam usually loves these little filled cookies. Mm. Oh. It's mango. It's the mango. I don't like mango. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it. It's literally said mango on there and I still didn't comprehend. Mango to me is, I hate mango. Personal preference, I think it smells like cat pee. If you like mango, you'll like those. I actually do not like something in my box. That's the first thing I've gotten that I just, well, didn't like it so much I spit it out. Hachu Kiwi. These are kind of like Starbursts. This is from Japan. I'm going to take a drink get that mango flavor out of my mouth. Yeah, if you like mango, you'll like them. It's very strong flavor of mango. Each individually wrapped chew features real chai seeds to mimic the texture and color of kiwi seeds. The kiwi flavor is refreshing sweet with a hint, hint of citrus. Japan. Now, mm. I'm good. Very juicy. This is another wafer candy in this, I mean, wafer bar, but it's got strawberry cream in the middle of it. I'm not gonna open this one. I think we can imagine what that tastes like. I'm getting kind of, ugh, I'm tasting everything. <laughs> This is from Bulgaria. This sweet treat features crisp and crunchy chocolate wafers combined with layers of smooth strawberry filling and creamy milk chocolate filling. Um, I'm sure it's good. One last thing. Um, Baker's Brothers Donut, mom's favorite strawberry flavored. I'm sure this will be good too. I've had this brand before and I liked it. This is a yellow cake donut filled with creamy strawberry filling and frosted with a sweet strawberry frosting for double the strawberry flavor. It's topped with colorful sprinkles. This is from Turkey. I'm not gonna open that one either. I tried almost everything. Let's see, my favorite thing from the family pack. The family portion was probably my least favorite, which is odd. But these were delicious. Those, these are hands down my favorite thing out of the family portion. Let's see. I might need to go back to the original overall. Because those were my favorite things with everything in the original and the mini. What'd you guys think? Yeah, these would be the first, my favorite overall winner. Let's get the contenders. We have the pretzels, I mean, this cheese chips, these Tuscan crisps, 
this candy, the, gr the granola mix or whatever it is. Oh, did I pick this too? Yeah. The overall winner to me of the whole box are these. My favorite sweet treat of the whole box. And the cream soda is pretty good. What did you guys think? Should I continue to get the biggest box or should I go that back down to the original? Um, give me your thoughts below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings. I'll see you at the next one.